We have spoken with the Augur of Don Lane and we are returning now to Savos Aaron to tell him about what the Augur told us and about our news. And yo, the Midden is a very, very strange place. It's kind of creepy and I'm actually wondering like who usually comes here and does those crazy experiments and, and thingies and stuff, right? Like we have here even an alchemy lab, we have like bones everywhere, some necromancy going on, like you have some day trick summoning ritual here even, like it's it's insane this place. I really want to come back here for sure, because it's, it's very fascinating here. Plus I want to figure out what's actually happening with this uh, freaking gauntlet there. I hope we are going the right way, I'm not even a hundred percent sure. What we can do as well is, I think there's also an exit here. Yeah, we can just fast travel. You're saving so much time. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, let's fast travel. All right. I wonder what Savos has to say about our news. I think that looks so cool. Is that actually from the Augur of Dunlane? So when we spoke to the Augur of Dunlane, we also had this blue glow. So I'm actually wondering if this is maybe from the Augur of Dunlane. And he's the one I think the college is keeping everything lit in here. Chanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several if you're talented. Um, I have important information for you. Really? And what might that be? Uh, we need to find the staff of Magnus. I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. It's connected to the orb we found. And how do you know of this? I spoke with the Augur of Dunlane. Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the staff of Magnus? Yes. I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. What should I do next? A most impressive attitude. Keep this up, and you'll do quite well for yourself. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabelle mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? Okay. I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. Whoa, what are we getting here? Mage circlet. Um, what are the values? Like, what does this give me? Oh! That's actually weaker than Nakrin, right? No, 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 I, I will keep my mask. That's not worth it. Okay, so, so, so where the heck do we find Mirabel? I think the college got the marker on now. If you're working on any experiments, and we quickly gonna save. Please clean up after yourself. So, Ancano, what is he was also at the Org of the Let's speak to him. Maybe he reacts to that. I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. <laughs> what what will you say? What do you actually say if I say there's a rumor that you're spying for the Thalmor? What? Preposterous. And just the sort of thing I would expect from mages who have nothing better to do with their time. I have made it quite clear that my only role here is as an advisor to the Archmage. I would suggest that you not further spread this rumor. Wow. What are you going to do if I do? Hmm? Can do nothing about it, dude. I will just full throw die you down the cliff. Uh, where the heck is she? Huh? Okay, she must be upstairs then, because the marker says in this room, but there's nobody. So okay, so she's really upstairs. Please, if there are any problems, let me know. It's my job to keep things running smoothly. Do you know anything about the staff of well, Magnus? Now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? Archmage Archmage Aaron said you'd mentioned it recently. I see. Well, yes, I suppose I did mention it. Though I'm not sure what he expects me to tell you. 
I only brought it to his attention a few months back when the Synod showed up here looking for it. They were apparently under the impression we were keeping it in a closet somewhere. Really? So who are the Synod? Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the imperial authority on magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. So no one knows the staff's location? No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mizulft, but that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mizulft yet. Just okay. don't expect them to be cooperative. So we're going to Mizulft. Mizulft. Mizolft, Mizolft. Even with the college's laid-back attitude, there are still some things that are off limits. <laughs> All right, whatever's off limits, we're going to Mizolft. So hard to pronounce. Uh, where the heck do I find Mizolft? Oh, here's Miz Mizolft. So we're going to Kynesgrove, and we walk uh, to there from there to Mizolft. I love that name. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. I haven't been here in ages. In the old fort near Riften. Let's see, are we going the right way? Is there actually a path that leads up here? I think there is, right? Might consider joining up myself. Alright, what we're gonna do is we are going up like this. Roger get my pet out. Because who knows what we might encounter. Then we are seeing if we can find a path up there somewhere. Oh! There are Imperials. There's Giant and a Prisoner. And the Prisoner, why is the Prisoner fight? Why was the Prisoner punching a wolf? Huh? That makes no sense. Did the Imperials force that one to punch the wolf or what? I being cruel to him. No mercy. Because that was really an awkward moment. I think there's a road here. No? It's okay, we just walk like this. Oh, oh. Ooh, die! Boom! Uh oh, the others, they noticed. Wow, did you guys see that? Every shot hit the mark. Oh, this is so cool. What is this? What is this? How, how do I get... Oh! What the heck is this? I see something so cool. Is that what I think it is? Is that an orc stronghold or something? Halt, Outlander. By the code of Malakath, Yatul. this stronghold belongs to the orcs. Your kind are unwelcome. Um, I'm just a traveler. What is this, this place? This is our stronghold. Here, we are free to live as Malakath intended, away from the prying eyes of the Nords. You're not an orc or bloodkin, so stay out. We only help our own. How can I conv... Wait, uh, yeah. Are there other strongholds there are out there? There great strongholds worthy to talk about. Dushnik Yal, Morkazgur, Narzobur, and Lagerspur. How can I convince you to let hmm. me in? We've heard whispers of an enchanted pair of gauntlets, hidden and protected by dangerous men, beasts, or worse. Wow. They are called the Forge Master's Fingers. Bring them to our chief, and he will decide if you are worthy to be bloodkin to the orcs. 
Wow! I've, I will fight those uh, gauntlets. We will see. Ooh! That is so cool. Um. Wait. You know what we're gonna do, guys? I, I have already a, a, a plan. So we're going first to this Emsulft or whatever it's called place. We're gonna finish this. Report back. And then eventually we come back here and I will become a Bloodkin. Because that would be so cool. Yo. You can join the orcs. That creeped me out! Why suddenly a freaking uh, lion attacks me? What is this? Uh, saber cat? The heck? Can't just attack me randomly. I I'll take his pelt because I, I need a trophy for my uh, for my hunt, right? Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, what's this? There were some strange uh, wolves running around. Anyway, let's continue. Ah, what a nice weather. You know, it's like interesting walking here reminds me a lot about walking in my forest here in Germany because it doesn't look too different. Some parts. I guess we have like a similar climate you could say even like those pine trees trees like that we have many in our forest like that here but then again i don't live even far from the black forest in germany and the black forest in germany is a bit a bit rockier right so sometimes you have those kind of not really like cliffs they're more like mud cliffs but with a bit of stone as well like we have some like that here too it's less rocky where i live but but if, if you have some fantasy and you imagine like this is partially mud and uh, rocks, then it's just how my home looks like, literally. So yeah, I feel home in Skyrim, basically. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's the place where we must go, yeah? Already expecting some, some battle here or something. So I'm gonna be prepared. Oh, wow. So here's the entrance. Look over there. Mzulft. Gone. <coughs> Yo, are you okay, dude? Find Baratus in Oculory. Okay, can, can I give you a potion? Ah! I could have saved you! I have some healing potions, dude. Come on. Okay, let, let's let's read the research log and find out what happened to that poor fella. Yo, why can we not save people sometimes? Attendant Gavros, the council has uh, become aware of the lack of progress in your group's efforts. They are particularly displeased to learn that your uh, specifications for the focusing crystal were completely incorrect. The entire binders conclave, conclave sorry, has worked uh, tirelessly and the council is quite sure this new crystal will suit your needs. You are herewith entrusted with delivering the crystal to the site. Completing your work and delivering a full report to the council with all possible haste. The council trusts you will deliver the crystal to the ocular personally and that there will be no further complications. First, adjunct Orono. Alright. Seems like a dangerous place if that guy is standing there like dying in front of our eyes. So definitely gonna save here. You know, so dangerous. We may encounter here. Yeah? Mzulft. That looks like a trap. You know what I like here though? There are so many magicka potions. Ouch! Yeah, that looked painful. Easy. Is 
Is there something? Can we go in here? No? Oh yeah, right. Um, they have soul gems. We maybe will need some. Wait, where's the other one? Wait, I shot two. Okay, here it is. That one doesn't have anything. <gasps> Treasure! But it's empty. Uh, nothing else? Quicksilver? Maybe I have use for that. Whoa! Just suddenly jumped out. Oh, well done, Lydia. That was some nice teamwork right there. You guys saw that, like, two fireballs, and then she gave the final blow. That's, that's what's teamwork. Like, that's real teamwork here. Oh, that one has two soul gems, even. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at this. It's pretty obvious here. What I'm gonna do is... I'll make sure this doesn't go off. Okay. Wow! Soon we are on uh, adept level, right? We need to be, I think, 50 if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, 50, and then we can uh, learn a new spell. Reverend Steel Hammer. Steel Helmet of Major. Oh, that's good. If you're like a bell mage or something, that one's really good. Because you want to have full heavy armor, right? And with that, you have it. And you get still max magic. How comes plants are growing here? Huh? There's no sunlight. Maybe it can grow in the dark too. Whoa, look at this destruction of this machine here. Wow. It came out of this, right? So we have to be careful with those two. They can come out not just from the top, but also from the ground. Gonna save again, just in case. Wow. Ah, insect! Ah! What is this? Oh. This is the first time we see this, right? Oh, wait. No, there was something similar in uh, Black Reach. Not exactly the same, but... but that one was tough. I had to dual cast, like, what, three, four times? What is this? Scroll of Paralyze. Could come in handy. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna sleep for two hours. Why? Because I get a bonus to level up, right? So yeah, after this nap now, get ready. The Mystery of Talara. Gold necklace. I'm taking it. Look at this. Lydia, I'll be so mad if you step on this. You are... What, what did I say? What did I say? I'll be so mad if you step on this. And, and you, you didn't listen. At least you managed to kill this insect. So you're a bit pardoned. Okay, now I, I pardon you. Because at least you know how to kill... St Yo. You're a bit slow. That thing already bit me. You're here to protect me, aren't you? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh oh. I, I have I have a bad feeling about this place, I have to save it. Oh yeah, my feeling was correct. Wow, that one's tough! 
five dual casts. We need stronger spells, guys. Like that, t that starts to just tickle them. Like I used to like two, three shot everything. Now I need to like cast, 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 cast. I feel like it's getting worse and worse. Um, don't need anything. I'm not even into smithing. Whew. Oh. Oh, not again. <sighs> Actually, so easy to miss because they are small and they are quite fast. So I don't always hit them, unfortunately. We check down here, I check up here. <gasps> What's this? Oh, that's a mini alchemy lab. I like those small ones too. I actually... Ah, oh, this is probably from the si uh, si signet, right? It's there here too. Adapt. Okay, we got some gold. Uh, oh, that's 900! You can get rich from that. Yeah, but 900 is the value it says here, but in reality, the shopkeepers, they want to be like 300 only or something, right? But still, if you get like 300 from this, it's still worth it. Plus, if we level up our enchanting, we can put something like reduce destruction cost or something on that. It's also quite useful. There is something. Ah, come on. That cannot be staggered or what? Oh, in this form it can, but if it's rolling, it cannot be staggered. I, I like about those dwarven spares when you like destroy them, how like one part rolls away, the other falls there. Like, you can literally put uh, some mobs in, into half, right? It's actually so interesting. Whoa. Yo! There are two! Don't have any AoE spells. Should learn the f maybe the Fire Cloak spell I saw, right? That's also not too bad. I've noticed that ever since we have the the uh, mask of, of Nakrin. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can actually cast more often. We have like a ring, if I'm not mistaken, and this one. So we have like half half the cast already for like destruction spells or something. Wait, how much do we have now? I have to, I have to calculate this. So this is unfortunately not of destruction, but conjuration. It does help us kind of. Uh, we have here 20% less cost for destruction spells. We have a ring that gives us 12%. So, okay, never mind. It's just 32% reduced cost. But it's alright. If I can upgrade some of the things and then we learn like fireball, it can become our new spammable. There are Falmer here. Let's harvest the blood. Increase is magical. Fascinating.
So now we are in the boilery. There's half destroyed stuff. I wonder what destroyed those. Uh. Oh no, oh no. There's a big battle going on here or something. Oh, Falmer. Yeah, I should have known. Aren't Falmer like super sensitive, like fire magic? I think I've heard this. Vampires are, I know that, but I, I think Falmer too, if I'm not mistaken. Now, if you're fighting vampires as a py pyromancer, you're gonna have an easy time. Because they are taking an uh, insane amount of damage from your spells. I think they take 25% or maybe even more, more damage from like fire spells. That's something that's actually a little bit annoying in like Elder Scrolls Online for example, right? If you're doing a like, PvP and you're like on a vampire build and then you fight like a Magicka Dragon Knight, that can be a pain. Do I need this? I'll take it anyway. It, they notice me only now. Wow. That one knows magic even. Look at this. Lydia couldn't even. Oh. Wow. She tried to kill that guy, but it was too late. What is this? So many poisons. I'm not even like some sort of rogue or something. What's here? Huh? Is that some sort of cell or something? So there's like... This kind of dawn, there's just a bench. There's not even any furniture or whatever. Expert. Yo, that must be worth it if that's expert. Imagine we open this and we find only junk. Ah! If only 37 left now. Mm, you're kidding me. 36? No way. 35. Okay, 35. So we broke at least three. Uh, 400? So it's like gonna be like maybe 180 or something at the shop. It's gonna be 60 probably. Maybe a bit more. That's all? Uh, what a waste. Like those farmer here are pretty hostile, they're like destroying everything. Wait, are here goblins? No, that's from the farmer. Why do the farmer need lights? Is that some sort of lamp or something? Like a, a something to find the path? Why do they put like a glowing buck on this to create some sort of light if they are blind? Yo, can someone explain me that? Like why why are they having fire here and stuff? Like why the farmer making fire here and having some sort of lamp post here with this glowing buck when the farmer can't see? That makes no sense. Like that's so stupid. Like why do they bother to have fire here? I was like for game design reasons, right? But I think still it's very stupid. Great, I've been poisoned. Mm, Magicka for sure. And we're going for... Finally, adapt destruction. Uh, ten more than our fire uh, bolt is a bit worth it. I hate how they can shoot their poison like this. I hate this. There's another.
You just kill it. It's almost dead anyway. Come on. I give you the honor. Just kill it. You can't even hit it. What are you doing? Finally, Lydia. You need to work on your aim. Like, your aim is so bad. Ooh. Ebony ore. Ooh. Upgrade. Yeah. Here again. I'll post that little close. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. They even triggered the trap already. It's good. I'm safe then. Whoever's there, I will destroy them. Pfft. Till you reach me, you're gone. Oh, this one's dangerous. Might need to... How long can you keep this up, dude? <laughs> I drew my sword is already dead. Oh, staff of ice spikes. That's not too bad. Oh, you can see through here. Is there something? There's a dead mage. Let's figure out why he died. So he probably saw they are home and was like, what is this? What kind of hut is this? And then they came from behind. Maybe. Maybe that's what happened here. Yo. I feel like we are very close to our destination. Ah, come on. I can like instant shoot this poison. There's a chest! Wait, where do you think you're going? Okay, okay guys. So what's here? Master! Are you kidding me? Master! Ah. It's going to be a tough one. Really no. Probably have to reload a few times. I can't find where it is. If if, if I at least know, uh, like. Okay, it is this angle. Okay, I, I I see now. Probably like this. No. Are you kidding me? I'll lose every single lockpick if I can't open this. Too much rice. Okay, let's try. Okay, I have to reload because I lost half of my freaking uh, lockpicks just now. Mm. Hate this. Is it still the same one? Probably it's no. If, if you reload, it's actually changing, right? Okay, so 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 it has to be like this. Huh? Finally, we lost only one. Ooh, Luna Lorcan. Let's. I will actually take this book with me. I want to read it later. There's... Ah, you can actually use telekinesis to pull this through here, I believe. So we actually completely missed out on that. What does this do? Stamina regenerates 20% faster. Whoa, whoa. I've got your back. Uh, this is for you. This is really, really good, Lydia. Wait, where is this? Huh? Here. You better wear this, I swear. Let's get go. Still here. I am at your command. If you're not wearing... Okay, you're wearing it. Perfect. Lead on. 
But yeah, guys, that's it for today's episode. The next time we are going way deeper, we're gonna discover where the Synod is and seek their help in finding information that we need. And yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.